By now, we've all seen the storm that was set off when Whistling Diesel showed the Cybertruck's rear subframe snapped in half while attempting to pull a Ford F-150 stuck between two large concrete pipes. Several weeks after that video's release, there is still debate whether the Cybertruck has a fatal flaw in its hitch strength or whether the all-electric truck performed correctly. Initially, I was in the second camp. However, Whistlin' Diesel came out with a second video showing the F-150 subjected to the same abuse did not experience the Cybertruck's failure. Unfortunately, keeping things blurry, Tesla has yet to address the issue. This means it's up to us to collect available information to shed light on the subject matter. And to our delight, Mark Thomas Sessa, on the Tesla Cybertruck Facebook group, has spotted a line on Tesla's official Cybertruck owner's manual that suggests that the Cybertruck hitch might not be as sturdy as found in other trucks. Mark writes, Want to see something funny? Whistling Diesel might have been onto something here. This is directly from the Tesla website. Cybertruck can only support 160 pounds vertical load on the hitch before causing damage. What's interesting is that Cybertruck shares the same load limits as Model Y. Was Tesla just lazy and copied pasted the same limits? Or is it really this low? Most manufacturers don't distinguish between vertical load and tongue weight limits. Usually, the tongue weight limit is 10% of the towing capacity, so an F-150 has about 700, 1,000 pounds tongue weight limit. 160 pounds is nothing on the hitch. Let's demand Tesla either update their manual or update the hitch design so we can start doing truck things with our trucks. Below his post, Mark shared a screenshot from the official Cybertruck owner's manual. Under the Carrying Accessories category, it reads, Caution. The hitch assembly is designed to support vertical loads up to 160 pounds, 72 kilogram. Exceeding this maximum weight can cause damage. Tesla gives a further explanation. The hitch receiver is designed to support vertical loads up to 160 pounds, 72 kilogram. When carrying bicycles, skis, or other items on the Cybertruck's hitch, Always check to ensure that the maximum weight is not exceeded. When the carrier weighs 40 pounds, 18 kilogram, the weigh threshold is sufficient for carrying two bicycles weighing approximately 60 pounds, 27 kilogram each, or four items weighing approximately 30 pounds, 14 kilogram each. As Mark pointed out in his post, the Cybertruck's vertical load hitch rating is the exact same rating as that of Model Y's hitch. This is disappointing on the face of it. However, another Tesla Cybertruck forum user, David Griffin, shared information taken directly from Tesla, further complicating the issue. David writes, probably a copy and paste error from Model Y. If you look in the Cybertruck towing section, it's clear that the vertical limit is 1,100 pounds, not 160 pounds. David shares a screenshot from the Tesla Cybertruck owner's manual showing the tongue weight as 1,100 pounds, 499 kilogram. Tesla expands on the issue by writing, The tongue weight is the downward force that the weight of the trailer exerts on the hitch. It must not exceed 10% of the maximum towing capacity. Carrying a significant amount of equipment, passengers or cargo in the tow vehicle can reduce the tongue weight it can handle which also reduces the maximum towing capacity. Here is where the confusion arises. If the tongue weight is the downward force a trailer exerts on the hitch, why are the tongue weight and vertical weight ratings different? Many people in the comments seem to believe the Cybertruck's 160 pounds hitch rating is just a typo carried over from the Model Y manual whereas others believe since the Model Y and the Cybertruck are the two Tesla vehicles with aluminum gigacastings, the 160 pounds rating might be something inherent to that design. Please let me know what you think in the comments below.